Today, we're going to be discussing everything that was mentioned in the new update video on the official Rise of Kingdoms YouTube channel, and I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on everything. Now I saw this video go live. I was awake past my bedtime. I saw this video go up like right away and I skimmed through it a little bit and I knew I was too tired. I couldn't have possibly filmed a video. I had already filmed the video that day and I, I just couldn't do it. So I knew I would go to bed. Everybody else would put out their opinions on this and it's, it's big news, right? There's a lot of big changes that are coming to the game with this patch which is really cool one of which being a new civilization so this is always something that is exciting right new civilizations are awesome because i mean the game was called rise of civilizations that was like the key component of the game right and the fact that you can sort of identify with a particular civilization whether it's you know maybe because you want to be powerful or maybe because you live there like it's it's just a cool way to express yourself i guess i know that's a weird thing to to think about in a game like rise of kingdoms well now here we're seeing some uh pictures of you know the the new civilization and the units most likely the the troops here which is really nice we see multiple archers here i think this will probably be an archer civilization i think this is going to be either persia or egypt that's my sort of uh, best guess i'm sure it'll come out relatively soon i don't have any sort of leak or insider information or rumors about this new civilization other than what i think it's going to be because i think those two are things that have been hinted at in the past and i think those are the most probable given that and also the designs of what these silhouettes are like i just think it's, it's the most likely scenario is that it's one of those two uh does that guarantee it no definitely not but i think that's that that's on the right track for me a new civilization coming to the game would be successful if it's done in a way where the epic is good for free-to-play players the legendary is good for free-to-play players and I don't want another legendary in the gold keys. I, I just don't. I, I'm sorry. It's just no longer an effective way for players to get their hands on a new legendary commander. There's so many commanders in that chest already that it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense to further decrease the odds of getting something that's actually useful like Charles Martel. So I don't want to see them put the the new legendary in gold keys. I said this before. I'll say it again there's just too much going on there and the fact that you can't it takes so long to get a specific commander's uh you know skill level high enough um it's insane so i think what they need to do if they decide to put this commander into the gold keys uh, i think maybe the gold key rewards should change for, uh, from season one of kvk to season two of kvk etc uh and sort of you know change around the probabilities for these these commanders right i mean I, I'm, I've, I've been playing the game since it pretty much came out and i remember when opening gold keys meant something uh and it doesn't anymore because even if you get this new legendary you summon it right away from the gold keys um it's gonna take so long to put skills on it that you won't ever use it and that's just a waste right that's just a waste of time for the developers it's a waste of time for the art team like it, you know if you're if you're putting something into the game knowing no one's gonna use it it's kind of pointless right so i would love to see them introduce a new legendary with a new civilization i would love for it to replace ethel flood in the uh, in the shop in the metal store i think that's the most logical place uh for a new legendary to be at this point because ethel flood is long overdue for a replacement in that metal store will this happen i don't know all i can do is throw out my suggestions and recommendations and historically i've pretty much never been listened to but that's not going to stop me from at least voicing my opinion so that's what i think about a new civilization uh, i'm excited for it and i think it'll bring a lot of new players back into the game which is awesome so uh what we're talking about here as you can see on the video is over this on this side they're talking about kvk and um they're saying that you know the new kvk has already landed into the game a lot of players are going to be playing it for the first time right now our kingdom had the opportunity to play this new kvk we opted out of it because of how badly they implemented uh the, the march of the ages it was so bad that um you know being a guinea pig it's just it's just not worth it the rewards aren't worth it uh the time and money spent it's just not worth it um being a guinea pig in the in in a, in a new season of conquest and i think desert conquest uh hopefully it's good like i said i hope that this this kvk system is really good i see what they're going for where you know players who are very powerful can still contribute to the kvk even if they have a full-time job and they're busy they have kids they have other obligations uh, and i think that's one of the biggest uh, criticisms of rise of kingdoms and i know that uh echo gaming uh posted a video talking about why he quit rise of kingdoms 
and it was strictly because of how much time you have to put into a game like this um there's events every single day there's daily quests there's kvk there's arco osiris there's all these things and they're all timed they're all they're only around for a limited amount of time and so you can't just jump in and play Soroli crisis when you want it's just it goes away after a while right so so that's one of the big criticisms of uh you know of rise of kingdoms and games like rise of kingdoms it's you know obviously rise of kings is not the only one like this but they do take a ton of time and so if you have a life event going on during a kvk you're not going to be active and that hurts your kingdom which never feels good so with this new desert conquest be you know having a general and being able to contribute in that way that's really nice um what they're discussing here is that they are trying to have a diversity of different kvk options to choose from and that they want to release a new kvk story every three to four months uh, I do not want to see a new KVK format every three to four months. Um, I think quality over quantity should be the rule here. Uh, you don't need a new one every three to four months. I like, I don't think that, uh, players attention spans are that bad at this point, but maybe they are. I really, I have no idea. Um, I just would rather see good KVK stories rather than new KVK stories because the last couple haven't been good. Light versus darkness was okay, but it was obviously worse than season two. Um, and then everything after that was just downhill because it had the crystal technology system built in. And so even if it was a good KVK idea on paper, it just had this parasitic system attached to it that prevented anybody from enjoying it, even if it was a good idea. Right. And that's the real problem with, with season of conquest. So we'll see if they can fix that. Um, but three to four, uh, you know, KVKs a year is not going to be, is not going to it's it's you know it's gonna add diversity but it's got to be good for people to care right they're also discussing here they're talking about adding potentially ranged combat uh for rise of kingdoms which we already know is in the uh, Tem uh tempest clash it's already in the in the sea battles here in rise of kingdoms uh and it's a cool mechanic it's nice and of course it makes sense it also adds a little bit more depth right because you know if you have archers why do you have to be right up against uh you know an infantry march to, to hit it right like it doesn't make any sense so it's a cool mechanic uh it's got to be done right for it to be good um you know d does rise of kingdoms need this mechanic i don't know i don't think so but i don't really know i i don't really know and, and if i'm you know if i'm being honest for a second um the whole sea, sea battles thing uh if i'm being real i i it just i'm it's boring it's boring i'm sorry i, I don't know it, like it looks cool and you know it, it's 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 a it's a it's a change of pace it's a breath breath of fresh air um but at the end of the day it's a very small map and it's just rock paper scissors and you have an you have an odd number of ships so one side is going to have a type advantage because unless you pick the exact same ship configuration one of you it it, it just doesn't I don't know there there was just nothing to it I just went into it and I'm like oh well they have more triremes and that just counters us and that's the only mechanic you can control so of course we're gonna lose and, and then from the beginning it's like well you have a loser mindset so it's like okay well this is pointless right um and so yeah I don't know it feels like a beta to me it feels like a beta verd like they're testing it still right that's what it feels like it doesn't feel like a complete game mode it feels like it's missing something like like I should have a skill that I have to activate to to use at the right moment or something I don't know and maybe those changes are coming and maybe they're going to implement potentially more different ship variations and that'll be cool I don't really know um but for me I, I don't know the 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 sea battles just don't do it just like just like Olympia doesn't really do it for me right it's just not that interesting um I hope it gets interesting but right now it's it's it is what it is okay so anyway all of that to say that uh you know range combat coming into the game uh, range combat coming into the game isn't immediately going to be this like really perfect awesome thing um obviously you know the, the the open field combat is what gets people excited about rise of kingdoms that's what sets it apart from other games like lords of mobile and infinity kingdom right that's like people tell me on the arc I, I play rise of kingdoms for the open field combat and so if um the, you know if the developers are interested in changing that uh that that like sort of golden ticket uh it's got to be done very carefully and it's got to be done right and i just do we need it that's what i'm, I'm wondering like do we need it like wh why would we 
adjust that i don't know hopefully it's good again i i i always say that and i i really mean it i want it to be good i like the game i love the game i make so many videos for the game uh -huh. so i really want it to be good but i'm very skeptical right so it is what it is um here they're talking about uh you know the different gameplay stories right they they cited the uh the spring festival and the winter festival i believe um these i don't care for i just clicked right through them because i really don't like it doesn't matter to me i'm not here for the story if i wanted to play a game with a story i would play an actual game not a mobile game um is there an opportunity for rise of kingdoms to have an, an enriching story yes but the way that they've been implemented you know are they getting better over time sure i i, I guess right um but i'm not super like i don't really care and that's just me that's just my opinion maybe you guys like the stories i don't know uh is it cool to have them sure that's that's fine um but it doesn't really change much for me honestly i'm not here for the story and i don't think most people are but hey it, it is what it is um moving forward they're talking about uh adding potentially new types of uh, gameplay rise of kingdoms battle royale would be really cool i mean even just this image as a little teaser right imagine dropping into the map as cpo like that would be super cool um could you do an effective rise of kingdoms battle royale with the current game mechanics like the way that the game looks and operates right now could you do it like can like can you imagine uh in like uh you spawn into an Ark of Osiris map right and there's a hundred players with one army and then you got to see who survives to the very end is that a game mode that would be interesting sure it's a possibility will it work I don't know uh, and the biggest thing is you know battle royales and things like that require such good connectivity you cannot have a laggy server right it's just it's just it's not gonna work right and so when it comes to like kvk the thing about kvk that sets it apart from other from other um city builder games is that it's it's because you have the open field combat right it feels like a, a strategy uh you know a, a game of the minds right who can plan better to have a more successful advancement across the map and who has the strongest players to do so um when you have something like champions of olympia or the sea battle thing or potentially a battle royale where they throw 100 players into the map it feels empty right because it's just you you just you have your army with the equipment you have and you can't do anything else about that and then you're just walking around trying to see well am I the best here oh I'm not okay well that is what it is and then that's it right like there's not that much strategy into it so um a battle royale would I play it yes do I think they should try it sure it's a successful it's a successful uh, model and genre of game uh, and I think rise of kingdoms has enough unique characters to make it possible um would I rather see rise of kingdoms in 3d and a Fortnite style battle royale that would be cool uh, I think in the current game engine a battle royale it does, doesn't sound that exciting to me but who knows maybe it'll actually be good and then they talk about the PC port um for me the PC port is fine I don't have any issues with it and that's pretty much it I guess some players are still having issues with it they're obviously still working on things being able to play the game in this wide of a screen would be insane and also I want to be able to control the dimensions of that box I don't know if you guys have played the the PC port um but you you're you're locked into that 16 by 9 resolution and you can make it bigger or smaller but you can't make it like let's say a square resolution like if you play on an ipad it's pretty much a square resolution that's what i like to play on right i don't like a wide screen uh and so but i can't adjust that on the pc version that's kind of the only downside for me personally but other than that the pc version has been very smooth flawless uh really nice really beautiful it operates great um and it looks like they're still um working on it but i i don't know i think it's pretty good i don't know if they have turned on purchases um, I usually make purchases in Rise of Kingdoms using Blue Stacks because then I get Google Play points and Google Play points can be converted into dollars, right? To buy more bundles with. And so I just kind of like save money by using Google Play. So that's kind of why I do that. And I'll probably continue to do that. I don't see a world where I would spend money on bundles in the actual Rise of Kingdoms PC client unless they give it to me at a discount because we're not using those third party marketplaces right if you have rise of kingdoms downloaded on your pc directly and you're making a purchase that money would go directly to rise of kingdoms there's no middleman right and the thing with um apple and andrew and the google marketplace the google app store uh, they take like 30 percent of of a, of a payment right so if you pay a hundred dollars for a fate changer google and apple take 30 percent of that. that's 30 dollars that's insane right so that's something to consider if if they remove that middleman then you know they can actually uh make more money 
and still give you bundles for cheaper and it would still work out better for everybody um so that's the only way that i would actually spend money in the rise of kingdoms pc client is if they offer us a discount for doing so because of the lack of middleman if they don't do that i'll continue to buy bundles with google play and that'll be the way that i do it because i get points for doing so anyway overall this is a huge update lots of things to be excited about lots of things that are changing the game right new civilization is the least that we're worried about when it comes to changes because we're talking about new kvk formats the increase in, in in frequency of kvk formats new mechanics right all this stuff and it's it's exciting but you know i'm also i i want them to do it right and i i like this style of video they were very transparent um we have a, a face we have a person that actually works on the game that's really cool i love the transparency this guy looks he looks very passionate right like he he's smiling throughout the whole thing which i i love to see right that's that's exciting and and it's good to know that that there are people who work on the game that are really passionate about the game and 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 you know not just there for the money which is often how it feels on the receiving end of a lot of these updates so overall really great video really exciting changes coming um i i hope that they are done really well and i am excited for the future of rise of kingdoms with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm for other rise of kingdoms players to see it comment down below your thoughts on this upcoming uh, updates i would love to hear from you guys do you want range combat what civ do you think is coming do you want more kvk formats how can they make kvk exciting for you i uh, would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on me i will talk to you guys again soon peace